In this video demonstration, we will configure the Cisco email security appliance with a base configuration that is typically common in networks. After logging in, navigate to Mail Policies, Incoming Content Filters. Click Add Filter. Name the filter Drop. There will be no conditions and the add actions will be a drop final action. Click OK. Submit. At this point, you are building a repository of content filters for incoming mail. However, in order to use this, you must apply it in a policy. Incoming mail policies. We will add a policy. In this policy, we will call whitelist. We will add a sender. And submit. We will add a second policy for block list or dropping bad email. Notice that in incoming mail policies, you put email addresses or domains or parts of a username. For the whitelist, since they are trusted, we will disable spam scanning. For the block list, since we are going to drop the email, we will disable spam scanning and disable antivirus scanning. This conserves resources on the system. We will apply the content filter that we created earlier. Modify the default so that positively identified spam is dropped. Suspected spam is sent to the spam quarantine. You can enable marketing spam detection and decide to send it to a spam quarantine or deliver using prepending of the subject line. Commit your changes.